Hey guys, it's James. So we're back at the uh, boat building of the uh, Schnook and um, we did the uh, breast hook and the, um, the stem. I uh, just wanted to give you a, a little bit of a sight of how it is, what it looks like. There is the uh, breast hook which will be attached to here at the, end, the, the very beginning of the bow, the stem. Um, I just want to show you, you know, I, I, I got it pretty close to where the lines are, um, where, where the lines are, and, um, but this didn't work out too good. You can see this needs to be, uh, cut. I'm going to take my circular saw, and, um, it didn't matter I mean, I wanted to get it close on the inside, but the outside, I wanted to get as close as possible. Now, uh, I used three layers of um, uh, ABX, and um, that's just fine with me. This is notched out where the um, keel will be going in. This will be uh, two one by 4s stacked and laminated, and they'll be... Uh, attached to the stem this way um oh yeah i i just gotta give a shout out to uh fgci um this is the uh poxy that i've used this is a commercial grade poxy it's a slow set activation um i bought a gallon jugs it's about 180 dollars delivered to my house comes out of uh tampa florida and uh but i'm telling you this stuff is great i mean i just get um i use my drill and i i mix it up and uh in about a minute or so i'll measure it out in um one of these cups i'll put it on my scale and uh and that's how i get equal parts Put it on the scale, measure it out. Um, the um, there's one thing to know: you do want to put a little bit more. Um, let's just say, you, and I use grams; it's just easier that way, opposed to ounces. If I'm making up a uh, hundred gram cups of each, I'll put a um, hundred grams of B activator, and I'll probably put like a hundred and ten. 115 grams of the epoxy be simply because this weighs a little more so um i just wanted to you know let you know about that uh you can see how much it weighs this weighs uh 9.67 pounds and this weighs uh 8.51 pounds so it tells you to make equal parts, and I always like to weigh it, but I'll put slightly more of this just because this is a little bit heavier, and it's worked out just fine. But uh, I just wanted to give you an overview of what the stem looks like and the breast hook. Um, those are the pieces. Um, now what I'm going to do, you can still see I got little voids in the um, plywood I'm going to take some of the epoxy and I got a couple of knot holes that need to be addressed. These are going to be filled in and epoxied. And then everything is going to be, um, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to uh, coat it all with uh, epoxy, liquid. Not this stuff, this is for bonding, this is too thick. But I'm just going to go over it with, um, you know, some um, epoxy where everything is sealed. And I'm going to go over <coughs> all the frames. Excuse me. Right now I got six frames and a transom that's all there. The last frame seven is out over there. I still got uh, one more uh, piece to put on and epoxy it in. And that's where we're at on the uh, boat build here, uh, Daytona Beach. Um, next is going to be uh, after that, um, starting on the setup. Um, I still haven't um, decided where I'm going to set up. I might be setting up in the backyard um, just to uh, do all the uh, woodworking. That's the setup. 
uh, put the structure together, the sheathing, and uh, then take the bolt and bring it in the garage. That way I'll do the, um, um, you know, the lamination with the, uh, you know, the fiberglass and the, the painting will be done inside of the garage no matter what. I'm still trying to find a secure, you know, location where I could um, build it inside. It's just that there's nothing available. I'm looking for like a flex space or a storage unit. And uh, I have found some places, but uh, they're a little bit too expensive. And I don't mind being at a couple of hundred bucks, you know, for a storage unit that will fit. But anything over that, I just don't want to do it. So I might end up just building it in the backyard and then finishing it off in the garage. So, but anyway, um, that's where we're at. And the uh, Schnook by Glenn L. See ya.